It's time for every plays multiplayer Civ 6. I'm just gonna jump right in. Hey guys, a couple turns here till my settler's ready to go. I need six more points for my for not to get a dark age, so I'll just continue to explore. Open irrigation. I can get two right after pottery. That makes sense. I think. Oh, I can do a pasture. Sure, why not? I've got two builds anyway, and they'll get me horses. Yes, excellent. I don't know why I wasted so many turns with that horse. All right, save that game. First stirrings of so this is my Washington game. We'll see how that goes. Kind of an interesting choice they made with the font here, where Philip II, his second I for his Roman world second is smaller than the first one. It looks kind of weird. I wonder if that's a regression or something that went slightly wrong, like it thinks that's his last name or something. So I'm three turns away from a settler. And Dave's over here. Alright. Let's go here. Some slightly less verdant plains over here. That makes sense. So one food, two food. So there's some visual component to what's going on here. Oh. That's kind of pointless. Alright. Why don't you... Head back. <coughs> it's probably my uh, scout walking around. Submit that file. Last rise and fall game. Ironically, the first rise and fall game in terms of the title on Play Your Damn Turn. That's a Germany game for me. <coughs> One of my two Germany games, I believe. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. I haven't done any new work on my... Um, My extra life program. Um, I've been pretty busy this weekend taking the kids to do stuff and doing a lot of cooking. Um, meeting up with Dan uh, yesterday, that was a lot of fun. Um, so today for lunch I made um, bourbon burgers. So there was bourbon in with the ground beef. That was really cool. All right, who gets promotion? Scout gets promotion. You? No, not you. Ay, ay, ay. This BS again. Alright, let's see here. You get a promotion. Excellent. So, woods and rainforest or hill? Mm, There's probably more wood and rainforest around. Okay. Alright, your turn, I guess. Let's go over here. Found Rome? No, we knew Rome already. Alright. <coughs> okay, so there's a guy walking that way, so you can stay here for now. And. Oh, okay, I did just meet Rome. Okay, so I got. 
another error score from eating Rome. Okay, so I'm at three points. I guess I'll get to found my city next turn. Boom, boom, something bad happened. Maybe someone beat me to a uh, wonder of the world. first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, <clears throat> to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest... Oh, yeah, so for lunch, I made a bourbon, bourbon burgers with uh, Dijon horseradish sauce. It was really good. And caramelized onions. It's the first time I ever caramelized onions, so that was really good. Um, went well together. And tonight, I'm going to make... I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy. Because bronze will last for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Alright. I had a feeling he was going to attack my slinger. a tough decision on the one hand astrology can get me towards religion keep other people from having religious victory but archery i think is what i need at the moment uh, i'm gonna go for archery all right slinger you are in trouble yes you are can you kill him no you can't You can hurt him though. All right, uh, let's go back up in here. Okay, so it's connected. It's kind of like a Saudi Arabia type of deal. All right, I'm gonna hope. In vain. <clears throat> let's see. He doesn't kill me. Probably will, because he can walk clear on these planes. Well, I didn't hear. Wow. So maybe he didn't kill me. That'd be nice. I can escape towards my city. If this is my India game, I think it is, but I can't remember. <coughs> you have built. So I've made some really, really awesome uh, beef enchiladas before. Really good uh, from America's Test Kitchen's Mexico book. Um, I just got their 2018 annual, and they've got a recipe there for a. Um, a uh, ground beef enchilada and I happen to have a lot of ground beef on hand so I said let me try that so that's what Normal I make tonight people believe that if it ain't broke don't fix it so that should be interesting again a tough choice I'll take her word for it and go for apprenticeship. All right, so Agra should make a builder.
And there's literally just one place for this builder to go. Oh yeah, I was thinking of going on the other side of Dan. Right. Uh, let's go in this direction because that's less in Dan's way. Although it's kind of there's some <coughs> which McCollum's barbarians there, so I might lose my settler. But I guess I could pair the settler with someone. Maybe I'll put an elephant in the settler's way. Save that. Go to main menu. All right, now my Gilgamesh game. Beginnings, you have. Sh <clears throat> so the uh, the beef fajita, I mean beef enchilada um, dish I'm used to making is um, it's uh, quite an undertaking. It's like a few hours because you're braising the beef and just getting this really amazing taste and smell and everything. The one I'm making tonight is a one-hour meal, so it'll be interesting to see how the flavors come out. I am using homemade uh, tortillas, though, which I made yesterday. Stalemate? That seems like bull blowny. Someone killed a city state. Oh, goodness. Probably Dan. Unless, uh. I forget the. Russia or whoever it is. Germany playing or whatever since they get a bonus from taking city states i forget who it is france i think i don't know i just played as them but i can't remember it's whoever i'm playing in my single player game i think it's germany all right let's skip your turn yeah let's attack why not mm, cool promotion i like promotions all right, and that has been Eric playing uh, multiplayer Civ 6. I'll see you next time. Bye.